Alright, welcome back to some more SGM here. Some of you were worried when I started my Way to Pripyat series that this was uh, over, the SGM playthrough was over, and that is definitely not the case. Uh, back here in full force, hopefully I'll get some the Way to Pripyat recorded, possibly even today, we'll see. Anyways, we're going to figure out what we have to do here in the lovely city of Pripyat. Here is... A, this is the liaison mission. And, of course, I forgot the little uh, attaché case that the Monlith guy way back in Zatan, if you remember that far back, he wanted us to bring it to the Monlith headquarters in Pripyat, and I'm really not entirely sure where those are. But, uh, I don't think we can even go back. Is Gary here? I... Oh, he is here. Okay, did we talk to him? Yeah, he's gonna give us a bubble here. Um... So we can go back, but we might as well check out the liaison mission first here. And what time is it? It is pitch black outside, so I think I'm going to sleep until the early morning. Possibly 6 or 7 o'clock when the sun's just still rising. Where is the bed here? There we go. Uh, 6 is fine, yeah. Hopefully the sun will be up by then. We'll see. More medical supplies in the Skadovsk. Not a big surprise there, I get those almost every time I sleep. And we have a lot of stamina. Is it worth repairing my guns at this guy? No, it's not. Simple as that, it is not worth repairing them. So we are going to be heading out here. Beautiful day. Some strange lighting on that building. Anyways, hopefully I won't be blowing myself up with any mines anytime soon. I'm kinda sick and tired of doing that. <laughs> now where are we headed? We are headed up to the docks. So it's gonna be over this way. Let's just get going then. Might have to deal with uh, some enemies on our way. I mean, I'm not expecting this to be a painless trip. Of course there's gonna be something. But I uh, don't exactly know what yet. We might have to deal with some monolith soldiers. I really don't know. Not sure what happens uh, with the monolith in this level. If they are non-hostile towards you, I'm not expecting any of them to be friendly per se, but... I don't know. I just don't know what to expect here. Might want to check out this place for some stashes. I'm really... Not sure what there could be. It wasn't expecting anything in that little box there, but, you know, worth a try. Right. Uh, I do remember this place having a stash in vanilla, and there is a GPS beacon. Or not a GPS beacon, a teleportation beacon, I believe, is what that is. I haven't used that yet. I wonder if you can set those up across levels. Like, if I could place one of these down in... Uh, Zatan, and then one in Pripyat here, would that actually work? I don't have any idea, but we might try that out later on. Am I still... No, I am not. Gotta go up this road here and avoid these annoying gravitational anomalies. Hopefully, that's the plan at least. They're scattered along here like crazy. This... This map seems a lot more alive now with uh, atmosphere, or not atmosphere, absolute nature. I don't know what exactly was changed, but man, what a difference. The foliage, I mean the lighting at this time too is pretty amazing. I am thoroughly impressed with that mod. Certainly makes things, oof, that was close, certainly makes things a lot more immersive. And anything that does that to Stalker is definitely a great mod in my books. Now, yeah, we're in the right direction here. It's right down there. Just gotta hope we don't run into any significant problems on our way there. It doesn't look like we are. Might want to just scout this out first. Okay, so there's where we're going. I do know of a couple of vanilla stashes in this building. But we'll grab those when we come to them. Don't have a ton of ammo for this, so hopefully there's not going to be any sort of big fight here. And I forgot what this mission was about. What is? What do we have to do here? According to the liaison, the professor had to. Oh, that's right. We got to find the. Uh, 
Professor, whether he is alive or dead doesn't matter to the liaison dude. And that was definitely something spawning. Yep. RPG dude. Oh, shoot. Okay, quickly get the M14 on. Can't afford to be out in the open like this. Okay, I think that's his head. Shoot, that was some bad shooting on my part. Please don't shoot your rocket. Can barely see this dude. There we go, okay. Headshot has been made. I'm hoping this isn't the Monolith base, but I don't think it is. Well, I'm assuming it's not. I have really no idea, but... One can only hope, right? Let's get this dude here with a headshot. There we go. Are these guys all rocket launcher dudes? That guy looked like he dropped one, too. Uh-oh. Looks like they moved inside. I don't know what's going on here, but I don't like it. Let's move over here a little bit. They are scattered all along here. Okay, get behind the bus, maybe. This could be decent cover. Yeah, it definitely looks like they went inside. Which is actually not very good for me. I suppose I could put the shotgun on. But that might not be the most... Well, you know, let's live dangerously. Might as well, right? Okay, I'm just keeping an... Oh, shoot. Okay. We made it. I hear shooting from behind. Oh, yeah, that's... That's probably why I'm hearing shooting from behind me. Because there is freaking shooting from behind me. And that guy is still alive there. Oof. The hell away from me, you guys. Okay, we got that one. Just reloading my shotgun. Ooh, this is not good. Okay, you know what? I'm I'm not dealing with that right this second. Okay, let's get in here. Heal up. Oh, this is getting intense. I'm gonna save it here because this looks like a good position to fight my way out of. I don't want to get flanked though, that's the only problem with this. Okay, anyone else in here? They could be coming from any direction here, that's the biggest problem with this place. Okay, I'm gonna use the Groza here. Those might just be zombies, not all these guys are monolith. And there are some VSS's here that I could pick up. Great. Okay, yeah, that's a zombie. That looked like a freedom zombie. That is some kind of high-powered rifle. Do not like the sound of that. So we're going to try to flank that dude and not get ourselves blown up. That would help, too. Maybe, just maybe, we can pull this off. Okay, there's dudes around here. I Oh, they do see me now. Don't want to stand still. I, I do not want to get shot with whatever rifle that. Okay, take this guy out. There we go. Got him. Just got to keep my cool here. We can, we can pull this off. Yeah, there we go. Rank upgraded. That's what I like to hear. And just keep moving up. This is this has been a good fight so far. I'm liking this. Oof. That was too close. I didn't even see that dude. Where are you? It's like in the bushes there. Oh, I got a headshot on him. Cool. Is there anyone else out here? Ooh. Yeah, there's a guy with a... Well, that was just a zombie, actually. 
Okay, let's move up. Feeling lucky. Okay, let's save it here. This is a really intense fight. I like it. I like it a lot. This is fun. It's intense. Did I get that guy? Yeah, I did. Sweet. Just keep pushing my way, way up here. Hopefully there's not too many more. I can't imagine there would be. Is there anyone over here? Okay, let's... Let's go. Just clear these rooms first. Might want to bring my shotgun out. Okay, this place is clear. Just safe there. I think that was everyone. I actually no. I I'm looking at my map, and there's two more uh, NPCs around me here. I have no idea where they are though. This guy's got an LR300. Not interested in that. Not even really interested in those grenades, but I'll take them anyways. There might be people up here. Yep. Okay, what do you have? Protecta? Eh, I might take that. I might just take that. Okay, there might be a dude on the very top of this. Uh, what kind of condition is that in? Um, I don't know. I'll keep it until I get uh, low on space. And then I might just ditch it. Anyone down here? Okay, there's a dude downed over there, so that's probably one of the PDAs that it's seeing. Let's crouch under here. There's lots of foliage on these roofs, that's pretty cool. Here was a guy with the, uh... Oh, he took a fall. Sniper rifle. And looks like that was everyone. That was a really good fight. Okay, so the stashes. I gotta think where these are. There was one up here, from what I remember. Actually, no, it was up to the very top. Just burst through here. Yeah, there we go. And where? What? Yeah, here it is. Gauss rifle batteries and first aid kits. It's a nice little haul. Now we just gotta get down. And I don't think there was anything on this second or third floor, actually. I do believe there was one stash down here, though. Just gotta find it. It might be under here. I don't know, these are all stashes I found in the way to Pripyat, and they were quite clearly vanilla stashes. There might also be some SGM stuff here, too. You never know. And is this worth it? I already have one of those, unless it's like a special variant. No, it is not, so I'll unload it and drop it. Might as well unload this, too, just in case I end up dropping it later on. F1 grenade, always interested in those. And anything else under here? I'm not going to spend too much time searching around for stashes. The other one was simply another Gauss rifle battery and first aid kits. It might be over here, though. Where are you, stash? I know there was another one here. Could be something up here, you never know. Nope. Okay, well, let's just loot some of these bodies. There's probably going to be much more valuable equipment on some of these guys. Rocket launcher. Do I want to take this? Does it have a warhead in it? Let's find out. Yes, it does. I might keep that on me, just in case we run into, like, a pseudo-giant or something on our way in uh, Pripyat here. And that's just back into the uh, main building here. Might as well go in and clear it out of any kind of valuable loot that these guys may have on them. There's a dude in here who I think just had a, a regular assault rifle. I'm not really interested in that many common weapons anymore. Yeah, none of this I really care about. I'll take the 9x39 though. That stuff could be valuable later on. And here's the dude that's wounded, so now we are officially clear. What did you have on you? Some I don't even want those. They don't do enough damage. I'll take the bandage, though. And that guy has an RPK-74, a PKM, I believe. 
No, again, not interested. Unless, again, this is some special variant, I'm not going to keep it. Nope, so we are going to just unload it. They seem pretty common anyways. No, nothing worthwhile. And there was some people scattered along here. Might as well loot them up. Another Groza, maybe there's some ammo in here for me. Unload. What is special about this one? Pretty much nothing, so I'm going to drop it. I know I could be selling this stuff, but again, not too interested, actually. Again, not even interested in that ammo. This ammo, though. I can definitely take some of that. Again, is this special? Nope. It's a drop. This guy's wearing a SIVA suit, and he has an elite med kit. That's actually a good pickup. Electronic Tycoon bonus is activated. I'm guessing... Actually, let's check out what that does. PDA, PDA. Here we go. Achievements. Where are we here? Number of headshots. Achievement status. Okay, I think I've gotten this. Or maybe not. No. Okay. Regular customer. Where is the one that we got here? It was... I don't even remember the name now. Okay, we've got this one. The Great Marauder. 18,000 electronic money hacked from the PDAs of the dead. So we've gotten that. Increases the money hacked from PDAs by 40%. And then this one, the Electronic Tycoon. Collect 20,000 electronic money. And uh, we have reached that. More favorable exchange rate of electronic money. Cool, what else do we have here? Uh, that's all. Cool. Well, at least we've got some of those SGM achievements down. Uh, there was a dude in here. I think I already looted this. Let's just get out of here. Shoot the glass. Just for the hell of it. Okay, so the scientist's corpse... I'm not sure if he's alive, you know, I'm not going to count him dead just yet, but... Actually looks like he is dead. Or badly wo No, he's dead. He is dead as a doornail here. In his bright green suit. Okay, scientific document. Several stapled sheets of A4. The inscription on the cover, Merging Anomalous Rocks. Okay, we'll take that. And what is this? Beretta M2. I don't know, I might check that out, see what it looks like. Beretta M2, where are you? Yeah, very, very interesting. Okay, now, any stashes around here? There might be something under this balcony. I never know. Anything? Come on now. Oh well. Looks like there's no more stashes for us here. And that was actually fairly easy. This looks like a teleport. Uh, I don't know where that goes. But I'm gonna take it. Okay, where does this lead us? Did I... Oh, I dropped my Marauder. God. Uh, okay. Where are we here? We're in the hospital, and there's the tools. So, how far did that take us? You know what, I'll take the tools. I think those are tools. Are they not? Yeah, calibration tools. I'll take those to... Uh, what's his face? Cardan. Let me just make sure I don't... Yeah, I, I dropped it when I went through the goddamn teleporter. I don't even know how I'm going to get that back. Uh, I guess I'll run back up here and try to grab it. It'll be easier than uh, loading, or quicker, I think, than loading the save. And that's good that we got the tools, too. Why did I... Okay, I guess that's my scroll wheel again, acting up. Okay, hopefully it's not, like, right in the middle of the teleporter where I can't grab it. Ouch! Okay, that was, uh, painful. Where's that statue? There it is. Okay, let's check this out. Get the binoculars. I said binoculars. I said binoculars. Where is my shoddy? There it is. Okay. Let's see if we can nab this thing up. 